Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at the New York State Department of Health for guidance for the use of fluoridated water for feeding during infancy. So the New York State Department of Health concurs with the current scientific evidence that fluoride added to water is safe and effective in controlling tooth decay. In New York State, approximately 12 million people drink water containing 1 milligram of fluoride per liter. The department considers this level as the appropriate amount to maximize tooth decay prevention and minimize the risk of enamel fluorosis. Enamel fluorosis that results from drinking fluorinated water is not a disease, but rather affects the way teeth look up close examination. Enamel fluorosis appears as a range of cosmetic changes, varying from the barely noticeable white markings to pitting and staining of the outer tooth enamel. And some reports have exposed concerns that the amount of fluoride contained in water used for mixing infant formula may influence the possibility of developing enamel fluorosis. The New York State Department of Health concurs that the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, fluorinated water at the optimal level poses no known health risks. Further, the department has concluded that the risk of enamel fluorosis associated with infant formula prepared with fluoridated water is low for several reasons. The occurrence of advanced forms of enamel fluorosis is extremely rare in fluoridated communities, even though some water systems have been fluoridating for over 50 years. Milder forms of enamel fluorosis are not noticeable. The critical period for permanent tooth development when enamel fluorosis is most likely to occur is later in life when children are less likely to be on infant formula. The theoretical amounts of fluoride that might cause advanced forms of enamel fluorosis are reached with exclusive and or excessive formula used for a prolonged period. According to the National Center for Education, Maternal and Children's Health, Birthrights Future Guidelines, infants should begin solid foods between four and six months if they have development already. They'll also reduce the exposure to excessive levels of fluoride. And the ADA, American Dental Association, has issued interim guidance to reduce the possibility of developing enamel fluorosis, and the department is awaiting the development of financial guidance. In the meantime, the department offers the following recommendations to concerned parents. Tooth decay is the single most common chronic childhood disease, and appropriate amounts of fluoride are benefiting for preventing tooth decay. Fluoride intake above the recommended level for a child's age in creates a risk for enamel fluorosis, and there are some simple and effective ways to reduce excessive fluoride intake. Breastfeeding for infants is strongly encouraged by the New York State Department. Breastfeeding is not possible. Parents and caregivers are encouraged to speak with a health care provider. Solid food should be introduced between four and six aids of four and six months of age, and parents who are concerned about the risks of enamel fluorosis can mix liquid concentrate or powdered infant Florida with water that is fluoride free or contains low levels of fluoride. So that is some of the guidance for fluoridated water feeding during infancy. That being said, there can still be other contaminants or issues or too high levels of fluoride in your water. So it's always a good idea to periodically test it.